Hey, bad news for everyone that's looking for a magic pill for fat loss. It doesn't really exist. But what I'm finding through a lot of research recently is that vitamin D3 might be as close as we can get to something that can reduce belly fat as anything that's out there. So let me explain how this works because honestly it's pretty fascinating. So what vitamin D is, first and foremost, is a fat-soluble vitamin. Okay, It's a fat-soluble vitamin that helps regulate mood, it can help regulate metabolism, and most importantly, it regulates where calcium goes in the body. But because it's fat soluble, it means that it's stored in the fat cell. Now start thinking about this. If you have an excess amount of fat, or if you're overweight, well that means that most of the vitamin D that you consume, even if you're taking a supplement, is going to get sequestered into those fat cells and it's going to stay there. Meaning you have less bioactively available vitamin D3 to do the cool things that I'm about to explain. But let's talk about how vitamin D3 actually burns fat. The first method is by increasing something called leptin. Now, have you ever eaten food before and gotten full? If you haven't, you're probably not human. Because honestly, what happens is leptin signals your brain that you're full. When you eat a lot of food, you have the production of leptin, signals your brain that you're full, and you stop eating. Problem is, is that without vitamin D3, leptin levels don't generally increase that much. So if you have enough D3, your brain can signal and your brain can be told you need to stop eating. It's that simple. But low levels of vitamin D3, those leptin levels don't get too high and you can keep eating, making it very easy to overeat. Now remember what I said about the vitamin D3 getting stored in fat cells? So think about this. If you already are low in D3 and then you eat and you don't have enough leptin so you keep eating more, well then you're going to develop more fat cells, which means you're going to hold on to more vitamin D in the fat cells and more and more to the point where you have this snowball effect where you continue to store fat. Are you one of those people that have just looked in the mirror and said, how did this happen to me? Honestly, I was one of those people seven or eight years ago. Okay, now the other way that vitamin D3 is proving to potentially be a good belly fat burner is through the modulation of the parathyroid and calcitriol hormones. You see the parathyroid is a small set of glands around the thyroid in our throat. And basically when they produce parathyroid or when they produce calcitriol, we have a rapid increase in how our body stores fat. It tends to want to store it more. Now if we have enough vitamin D3, the parathyroid and calcitriol hormones aren't quite as crazy. They're not going quite as haywire, which means your body slowly stores and slowly metabolizes fat versus doing it rapidly, making it where you look in the mirror and feel like it happened overnight. So those are the two main reasons that vitamin D3 is starting to play a big role in belly fat, but this wouldn't be a traditional video of mine if I didn't at least reference one peer-reviewed double-blind placebo study. Okay, one study took 218 women. Okay, these 218 women, they gave a strict diet and exercise program to, and they asked them to follow it for a year. Okay, then they took half of these women and they gave them vitamin D. The other half of the women, they gave a placebo. Well, after one year of time, it was found that the women that took the vitamin D had on average seven pounds more weight loss than those that didn't take the vitamin D. It doesn't sound like much, but just by adding vitamin D, it's pretty dang interesting. But then there's one other study. There's another study that found that those that were taking vitamin D3 had a better waist to hip ratio than those that were not. So what I can hypothesize from these two studies is that potentially vitamin D could be a link between weight loss being somewhat site specific to the belly fat area. Now it's not the end all be all and there is a lot more science and a lot more research that needs to be conducted. But in general, we're heading the right direction. And just so that you guys know, if you have any ideas for videos, post them in the comment section. I'd love to hear them, especially surrounding the world of belly fat, especially surrounding the world of vitamins and minerals but also just things that you generally need help with. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well because I go live on YouTube and Facebook all the time and you're never going to get a chance to act in those Q and A's unless you subscribe now. So I'll see you in the next video or I'll see you live in the next video. See you soon.